Even though I've suggested and recommended that you highlight the data you wish to be graphed before you create the graph, it is still possible after the graph has been created to tell it to ignore parts of the data. And we simply do this through filtering of the charts data. So we have a file called filters.xlsx. It has three different chart types within it, pie chart, a line chart, and the clustered bar chart. If we want to filter out some of this data, what you'll find when you select the chart, so here it is as an object, you simply click on there, there is a filtering icon that appears. We can then click on that filtering icon and find that for this particular chart, we can filter out any one of the regions. So you can see that as you hover over them, it highlights that part on the graph or any one of the categories. So if I didn't actually want to see the car sold, I could remove the tick from there. And if I'm not interested in the West's data, I can remove the tick from there and then apply. And you can see the graph now does not include West, it just has North, South and East and doesn't include cars sold, just includes all the other transportation types. That's filtering the graph post graph creation. And you can do that on any graph type. If I click there, the filter option disappears. If I go to the area summary, I click on the little filter. Obviously there's only four categories here, so I can only remove one of them, or more than one of them really. If I didn't want, say for example, the south to be included in any calculation of the percentage, I would take the south out and apply. Pie chart is then redrawn with just the other three regions in, and then they have a different percentage of the new grand total, because the new grand total will not include the south in this case. So it's north, east, and west. With the south excluded, the east has the biggest share of the pie. Put the south back in, and the east just scrapes the biggest share of the pie. So if I want to exclude the east so I can see what the rest are, and I see that in this case, the West has nearly a half of the rest, if that makes sense. So we exclude East from the calculations and West has 48% of the remaining sales. That's a very useful little option to be experimenting with, certainly here in pie charts, but it also worked in our bar chart. And then I click for the filtering option to disappear. And then the final one, the sales one, still has a filtering option and I can filter out any of the values I don't want to see. Now, because there are over 100 values being fed into this chart, that would take some filtering choices. I might not want to see June in 2014. So I would remove the ticks, apply, and then the June figures are taken off the end. What about the beginning figures? I'm not interested in the start point here. January 2012, apply. It removes those start figures off and then redraws the graph without those figures in place. It may be that I wish to exclude this really low value there. 9-9-2012, so I'll go through my data. 9-9-2012 was a low point. Apply, and that's removed from the graphing data. So I now get a new chart drawn that doesn't include that little dip. We have a drop obviously, but we don't drop right down here. And then we carry on increasing. The filtering option is extremely useful in any of the chart types. You simply click on the chart, click on the filter, then be given your data choices that you would like to exclude, and then just click back off filter icon to remove the filtering options from view.